Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Aron Nitsovic and a known player. This is a game from the similar exhibition that Nitsovic played in Munich in 1907. Nitsovic had white pieces and he started with e4. A known player played e5, a knight to c3, going for the Vienna game, maybe. Knight to f6, bishop to c4. Bishop to c5, d3, d6, f4. The Vienna game, knight to c6, white to move. Knight to f3 is the most played move. Nitsovic played f5, black to move. A non player castled king's side. Knight to a5 is the most played move. Back to our game, we have a castling, bishop to g5. Spinning the knight, asking a question, why to move? How would you continue? Would you play bishop to h4? Or bishop takes knight? Or maybe something else? What would you do? Nitsovic played h4. Wow, how do you like this move? h takes on g5. h takes on g5. Black to move g6 was played. If the knight moves to a safe spot then queen to h5 and white wins. Back to our game. g6 preventing queen to h5. Queen to f3 intending queen to h3. Knight to h5. Let's take it back. Knight to d4 would offer black a better chance. Knight to h5, white to move, how would you continue? If g4, the unknown player intended knight to d4, and black is ok. Back to our game. So if g4 is not the move, what is the best move then? Linsovich played rook takes knight on h5. Kaboom! Pawn takes rook. Queen takes pawn, threatening a check, mate, bishop to e6. If something like bishop to d7, then f6, and another end of move, check, king to h8, check, mate. Back to our game, bishop to e6, giving a piece back to save the king, but instead of pawn takes bishop, Nitsovic played g6. Threatening checkmate, king to g7, queen to h7 check, king to f6. If the black king reaches the safety, black may even win. White to move, pawn takes bishop was expected. g takes on f7 was played. Bishop takes on c4, d takes on c4, black to move, knight to e7. Perhaps king to e7 should have been considered. Knight to e7, controlling g6 and d5 square. Why to move? Knight to f3. Knight to d5 was a pretty good move too. Knight to f3. But now, rook to h8. Wow! And then, trapped Aron's queen. Well done, and then. How would you continue this position if you had white pieces? Nitsovic played knight to d5, check, deflecting the knight. Knight takes on d5, and now queen to g6. The g6 square is no longer defended by the knight. King to e7, c takes on d5, black to move. A non player considered rook to h1, check. Instead, he played queen to f8 intending queen takes pawn on f7. Let's take it back. If rook to h1 check, then king to e2. After rook takes rook, then f6 check, and after king to d7, queen to f5 check mate. Back to our game. That is why a known player played queen to f8. Knight to g5 defending the pawn, but now queen to h6 offering to trade queens and hoping to win in the endgame. White to move, 
Nitsovic played f6 check, king to d7, queen to f5 check, king to d8, knight to e6 check, king to c8, and now knight to f8 discovered check and promoting his knight to a queen. Just kidding. King to b8, knight to d7 check, king to c8, knight to b6 double check, king to b8 white to move. How would you continue? Nintsovic played queen to c8 check, then he sees rook on h8. Rook takes queen, knight to d7 check, mate smothered, mate. The final picture is amazing. What a brilliant game by Aron Nintsovic. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.